Well, Mr. Hope, if you refuse to come quietly, I'll have to use force. You just threatened a member of the Council of Governors. And I don't care. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. We're here to confront Ron Hope. Okay. Hello. Yes. Should be interesting to see what happens. We'd be dust, except for the factory. All right, Andresia, let's go. Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. I wonder how the company feels about that. I have never liked Hope Tech ships. Though, I suppose that is hardly the point of them. I think we have to go up a level. Or maybe not. Vicious quotas. You Off met world every world. one of them. Nothing ever good comes from Well, I won't pretend it was easy, but everyone pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news. Whenever and however you like. Thanks. I appreciate that. Those jackasses Ron Hope. I are gonna be the death of me. Ron Hope. Don't ignore me. Good to see you. Again. Yeah, right, I well, I just received a report from the Marshal about your progress. He said you had a promising lead on the mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust you're here with good news? Hmm. You can drop the act, Hope. Oh, excuse me? You'd better have a damn good explanation for this. Is there something you want to tell me about hiring the first? No. And I don't care for the insinuation. Okay. I'm afraid Paxton Hull has implicated you in a conspiracy against the Free Star Collective. Oh, the, the same Paxton Hull who was court-martialed during the Colony War? Well, I've, I've never met the man, and, and I can't imagine why he'd make an accusation against me. I have evidence that you hired the first to seize farms. That two-faced bastard kept the slate. Oh, I suppose. This is his revenge against the Council of Governors for what happened during the war. <laughs> I'm impressed, Deputy. It's clear you have a bright future ahead of you. What's going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you, Burgett. Why don't you make yourself scarce? I think I'd like to hear what the deputy has to say. I think you would too. Start talking, you traitorous bastard. I can see you're upset. Allow me to explain. And you'll see that there were very good reasons for what I had to do. 
The truth is, we've been falling behind the competition. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. Oh, and it failed utterly. It wiped out entire crops. I was prepared to write the whole thing off. When we made a discovery that changed everything, turns out our fertilizer was transforming the soil, bolstering its mineral content tenfold. But the fertilizer destroyed crops. Not all at once, of course. But we could never find anything that would grow in it. Eventually, everything we tried to plant failed. And died. Oh, aren't you being melodramatic? Go on. We donated the fertilizer to select homesteads and let the Farmers do the work. And when the time was right, we cleared the farm and brought in machinery to harvest the mineral-rich soil. The reduction in labor and materials costs sent my profits soaring. You sit on the Council of Governors. You betrayed the very people you are supposed to represent. I wish there'd been another way. But I had to play the hand I was dealt. So you destroyed lives to turn a profit. Look, I'll level with you. We're falling behind the no, competition. You know, I don't care. The hardworking people of this town depend on me for their livelihoods, and I won't let them down. Cutting my costs means saving their jobs. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How could you do something so... So awful to innocent people, to families. Not another word out of you, Birgit. I can take your job and more. We'll discuss this later. In any case, I suppose the gig is up. I give you my word that I'll call off the operation and return the land to its rightful owner. And the people your hired muscle killed. What about them? You're right, of course. Something must be done. I'll set up a fund to handle funeral expenses and take care of any surviving family members. We'll do this the right way. I give you my word. That's not enough. You're right. Yeah. Those families deserve to be compensated for the uh, inconvenience. Hmm, well, uh, perhaps a discount on their next purchase from Hope Tech. They might not be so keen to purchase a ship built with the blood of their compatriots. With that resolved, let's talk about you. As a member of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. Hmm. Are you trying to buy me off? Did I not make myself clear. I'm offering you a reward for a job well done. Nothing more. And with that job so capably done, we'll consider the matter closed. I'll be needing that slate from Major Hung, of course. Hmm. Wow. 20,000 credits is a lot of money.
But I'm afraid you're gonna turn yourself in and I'll be telling the Marshal everything. Well, let's not be too hasty, Deputy. There's something else you need to consider. I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees. If you tell anyone about this, you're risking their livelihoods. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families suffer? Like you made those farmers suffer? But on a much larger scale, yes. I don't want anyone to suffer. I want justice. Justice can be complicated, Deputy. Sometimes the cost of exacting justice is greater than the cost of doing nothing. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardize my reputation, this company, or the people who work for me. If that means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're nothing. Oh, there you are. Actually threatening to attack a Freestar Ranger, are you? You have overestimated your position, Mr. Hope. Hmm. Well, Mr. Hope, if you refuse to come quietly, I'll have to use force. You just threatened a member of the Council of Governors. And I don't care. On my authority, you're stripped of rank, declared an outlaw. What Guards, authority? Dispose of this criminal. Mr. Hope is dead. All right, Cosette, you should surrender. Oh, she's running. Come on, let's get her. Cosette, give up. You're under arrest. Okay. Oh, she's running again. Get her. All right, Cosette. Hey, be careful not to point that thing at me. She's dead. Mr. Hope, you could have at least had more credits on you. Cheapskate. All this place needs is a, a new person to lead this company into the future. It's like everybody's lives are not tied to yours. Who is this over here? Oh, what is it? Bergie? He... he tried to have you killed. I don't understand. Mr. Hope always seemed like such a good person. Oh, really? Everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries? It was so awful. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. Are you all right? I'm... Just a little in shock. I'm still not sure I understand what happened. 
A conspiracy to steal farmland? It's just so hard to believe. It's... That's not the Ron Hope I know. It's the Ron Hope I know. Hope was a greedy bastard who put on a friendly face. No, you're wrong. That's not all he was. Oh. He always looked out for us, for his employees. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling like being melodramatic right now. It's time you saw him for what he was. A monster. I... We never saw that side of him. And now he's... You. You killed him. Sometimes justice is violent and ugly. Is that what this was? Justice? It felt more like an ambush followed by an execution. <sighs> what happens to us now? I don't know. Why don't you take over the company? There must be a second in command. And as far as justice goes, you can consider this street justice. That's... That would be Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She no, that, seems say that pretty capable. Twelve times. Maybe. Maybe we'll be okay after all. I guess we'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. Okay. Glad that's taken care of. You'll be all right. Andresia? Let's get out of here. Aquila's really the heart of the Free Star Collective. Marshal? You're nice back. of you to meet me downstairs for a change. Good to see you back safe, Deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Your guess was right on the money. It was their base. I take it that they weren't too much trouble for you, given that you're standing here. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? Um, you should probably be sitting down for this. But it was part of Mr. Hope's plan to save his company. Wait a damn minute. You're saying Ron Hope was behind this whole thing? Are you really that surprised? Mm? Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council, Emma so he can make laws favorable to his business interests. Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? He supplied the farms with an experimental fertilizer. It boosted the soil's mineral content but killed the crops. That has a familiar ring to it. Does it? I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. Here. These are Hope's instructions to Paxton Hull. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. And you confronted Hope about this? Hmm. I'd hoped he would turn himself in, but he wouldn't go down without a fight. Sounds like his pride got the best of him. Damn. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. If the people can't trust their leaders, anarchy could follow. Have a little faith, Daniel. 
We're not the United Colonies. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. Easy for you to say. You ain't the Marshal. Not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. No. While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? Huh. I've been ready since the start. In that case, I won't hold you back any longer. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. Well done. All right, thank you. And it's about damn time. You're raring to go, aren't you? I sure am. Well, you've earned it. Thank you. Let's hear it for our new ranger. Woo! Right. Way to go. Great job, ranger! What? The Star Eagle awarded as a full-fledged Freestar Ranger, you have been granted your very own Star Eagle-class ship with no registration fee required. If you have the time, I wish to speak to you. Okay. Congratulations. Right. The promotion's well earned. Thank you. I appreciate it. Something you need from me? Uh, no. We, uh, says I spent we're gonna be on our way in just a minute. She's probably right. Andresia, you wanted to talk? I have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? Hmm. I love a good mystery. One that, hopefully, will soon be solved. My past is complicated. And anyone in Constellation will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. Hmm. Well, you've got to have a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Yes, that is one way of putting it. I am often surprised at how reluctant some are to agree with the idea. They sometimes seem offended I would suggest such a thing. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. Well, there's no way to know what someone else is going through. You believe I am too quick to judge? Perhaps that is so. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. Well, you've obviously been through a lot. I have. There have been times where I wondered whether it was worth it. My family is unique within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies, or the Free Star Collective. My parents, and their parents before them, 
did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure, how existence without ties to others is challenging in space. And why did your family insist on independence? They believed, and still do, that anyone who was not part of our family did not share our values, our goals, and was ultimately a potential threat. My time in the settled systems has mostly led me to agree with them. Well, getting by on your own is admirable. It has certainly proven valuable. Saved me. A few times, without question. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. All right. Got to admit, let me get I'm into my. How fast you made full ranger. Thank you, Helga. Let me get into my uniform. Now, hey boss, got some more dispatches. Full fledged Couple ranger. And then arrest for All right, an Andresia, let's go. We need to check out the new ship. Still the old ship. Let's see about getting a new one. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. Hey, what can I do for you? I'd like to view and modify my ships. Sure, how about it? There it is. The Star Eagle. Let's see here. Make home ship. Thank you. All right, Andresia, let's uh, take a look. Now, that is an impressive ship. adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? Something like that. Let's see what we've got here. This looks like engineering. I think we'll definitely need to have more crew. Watch out, watch out. Sale. Okay. All right, so some type of office then. Oh, yes, a bed. In fact, I think I'm going to take a nap right now.
Come on. There are worlds to conquer. Hmm. Yeah, I feel much better. Come on. Well, this is so much bigger than the Space Needle. Plenty of action stations. And here it is. Will you look at this bridge? This is quite impressive. So, um, what? I thought Barrett would automatically be assigned to this. Oh well, I guess we'll catch up with him later. Look at these action stations. Oh, this is really nice. All right, Andreja, let's get back to, uh, the Lodge. My work here is done as a Freestar Ranger. All right, action station. Prepare for liftoff. Liftoff initiated, Captain. Oh, there you are. Time to venture into that view of the sky. Look at this ship. Here we go. 